match, Kazuchko Okada says he wants to be with Gato not just for the 46th anniversary, but the 47th anniversary, the 48th, the 49th, 50th, 51st, on and on and on and on. Hi, everybody. This is the post-game show from the 46th anniversary. We're here in the beautiful Oda Ward Gymnasium, the site of the very first New Japan Pro Wrestling show on this date, 1972, and it's 2018, Don. Are Look at us. Are you familiar with the term superp superfluous appendage? What about from a Bond film, Papilloma Superfluous or the Third Nipple? All of these things are things that no one needs. And Okada proved tonight that he doesn't need Gato. He beat Will Ospreay, handily I might add, with Gato sitting at ringside, putting himself over. So kid, if you're listening to me right now, I say, why are you cutting that freak 15%? You can do it yourself or do a little better. Join the family. At a 10 10 or 12 percent rate, probably, yeah, right? Yeah, well, we got to cut Gabushi in now, so the rates are going up. It's all negotiation. Going up all the time. Well, this was a, uh, a, a terrific night of action. Okada was dominant in victory over Will Ospreay. Uh, stellar match. Uh, Okada just had the answers for Ospreay all night long. He dictated the pace. He made Ospreay work his style. And I think that was the big mistake for Will Ospreay. He wanted to prove something to Okada but why would you go away from the style that's made you one of the most successful uh, wrestlers in New Japan, heavyweight or otherwise? Maybe maybe if you give Okada some credit in that regard, he prevented Osprey from being able to go the way he wanted to go. But again, they started off very quietly, chain wrestling, world of sports style, uh, and it was different. So, well, you know, Osprey goes back to the drawing board. He doesn't lose the title by this, he just loses a little bit of pride. So I'm sure this will sting. But he will come back, and there'll be many challengers coming his way. We got new tag team champions tonight. I was excited as well. Yep. A surprise ending. If you missed it live, uh, you have to see it. Just if you just watch the last 30 seconds, you will see how one team went in control and then completely lost control. Looked like they were going to lose, and then another team wound up winning. Yeah. Crazy. Suzuki Gun. Yeah. Big night More for gold. Suzuki Gun. More gold for Suzuki Gun and Katamaru and El Desperado are the new tag team champions. Speaking of Suzuki Goon, the leader, Minoru Suzuki, equally dominant in victory, retaining the Intercontinental title. Makabe, tough, tons of heart, just didn't have the answer. No, absolutely not. And, and again, I think that he was outclassed. I think he's, you know, Makabe's a great wrestler. He's got a lot of outside interest. Suzuki has one interest, inflicting pain and punishment on people. Maybe that's two but nevertheless, dominant performance. I don't know who steps up and beats Minoru Suzuki because he's wrestling as good as I've ever seen him. It's a good thing uh, that the New Japan Cup is right around the corner and anybody who wins the tournament, they can challenge any of the singles champions. So it could be Hiroki Goto in the Never title. It could be Kazuchika Okada in the IWGP Heavyweight title or somebody could do the crazy thing and challenge Suzuki for that Intercontinental gold. Crazy, that would be crazy. The only one that we can think of that would not challenge uh, Okada might be Tanahashi. Because Hiroshi Tanahashi back in the New Japan Cup, and if he is successful, which he struggled, we'll talk about that in a second, um, does he go for revenge to win the title back that he lost? Or does he go past that and challenge the history-making efforts? I think if you're Tanahashi, Okada. you stay as far away from Minoru Suzuki yeah. as you can. I. I can't argue with you there. I don't see not. who steps up and challenges him. No. Um, but the New Japan Cup is right around the corner. I'm going to put you on the spot. we got less than a minute. Please. Who's your pick? Juice who? Robinson. Okay. Juice Robinson it is. Uh, I had said a while ago Juice Robinson was my way too early pick to win the New Japan Cup. Looking at the brackets, I can say that things do shake out favorably for Juice in that Naito, Ibushi uh, are on the opposite side of the back up bracket but he does have Ishii to contend with if he's successful in the first round. And if Ishii is successful, Ishii won last year the big upset over Kenny Omega. Uh, four members of Suzuki Goon in this. Uh, don't count Zack Sabre Jr. out. Don't count anybody that out. That was a hell of a piece of analysis. You just confused and confounded I everybody. I know. Well, if this happens, well, maybe this, and I, maybe this, and maybe this. I mean, and that's what pick everybody, a side. That's what everybody does. When they fill out their bracket, March Madness, right? They're 64 teams, 68, it's college basketball. Oh. And you go, well, it could be, well, we could have an upset here. Well, we could, we'll find out. The journey, 
for the New Japan Cup begins on March the 9th, and we will be there. Well, I'll be there. We'll see Dom for the finals on the 21st. Champagne and cocktails. We'll have lots Super of fun elite. along the way. Make sure you join us. Every event will be live on NJPWWorld.com. English commentary for select few events will be here at Cork and Hall. We'll be I'll be there. listening to you. You'll be enjoying. No, I won't. No, I know. Uh, for Don Callis, I'm Kevin Kelly. <laughs> we'll see you in a couple of days live on NJPWWorld.com with the New Japan Cup for the 46th anniversary. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Coda. Get off. How are you, buddy? Good stuff. <laughs>